Hi everybody, welcome back to So Simply Said with Christina. I'm Christina and today what I'm going to be showing is how to create those really cute cards and the process to go through that. So we're going to start. I have my standard card size right here. Um, what I did is I cut in half a eight and a half by 11. So just cut it down um, exactly in the middle using my stamping trimmer. So I've done that. And then I want to also show, we're going to measure at four and a quarter, how you can score it. So I just go back and forth a couple of times and then you can see right there that there's the score line. And then you take and you fold your card and then it's a perfect card. Nothing extra that you have to do. So I'm going to put it, my stamp and trimmer behind me. So I also cut down another a piece of Knight of Navy. Um, so this is going to be another one of my cards or another layer to my card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp onto here. So I'm going to pull my grid paper to me. And what I'm going to stamp on here is some little bugs, some lightning bugs. So this is going to be a very summery type of card. And sometimes you can just kind of go um, without a little bit of a plan. I do have a little bit of a plan. I want to show you some embossing. I want to show you a couple of different techniques. So I'm going to take my little bug. I'm going to stick him there on one of my blocks. And we're going to emboss him. So I'm going to take my embossing buddy I'm just going to go down my paper. What this does is hopefully make sure that you don't have any um, static electricity when you put your embossing powder. So then you need your Versa stamp pad. And we're going to stamp him just like a regular stamp. We're just going to stamp a few. I think I want to have five just throughout the card like that. Then we're going to take our embossing powder and go over our images completely. Okay. Then I have this little tray. I'm going to make sure that it goes all in correctly. Dab off any extras. And there you go. So then you can see that the embossing powder has stuck to my paper. So I'm going to put that off to the side for a second while Drew gives you a closer look. We're going to take our heat gun and plug it in. And disclosure, this gun does get really, really hot. So not meant for children. Please don't let your children um, don't put your finger right here when it's on. It, it really does get really hot. So we're going to put it on two. And we're going to focus at this first one right here. There's my pointer. And you can watch as it changes color. Did you see that? We're going to focus on this top one right here. Watch it. It goes really quickly and changes colors. And we're just going to do that for all five of our little lightning bugs. Okay. So that's it. It's one of my favorite techniques because it gives a real shine to your car. It makes it look really, really elegant. So there we go. We have some fun fireflies on our card. Now what I'm going to do, not lose my snail. I'm going to take my snail. I'm just going to run it a couple of times on the back of my card. And I'm going to mount my card. So I'm using Knight of Navy and Mint Macaroon. These are two of my favorite ones. I'm going to try to concentrate really and get them straight. Hear jingling in the background, it's just the cats. 
They've been arguing and fighting all day as far as like having the kids. Okay, so there's the beginning of my card. So I'm gonna put my inks away. I'm gonna show you another one of our machines that we have, and this is the Big Shot. So it's big and it's amazing. This machine might seem like it's really expensive. It is, it's a little bit expensive, but I love it. So, you have your magnetic platform. If you now buy the machine, you get the upgraded magnetic platform. I'm gonna spin this around so the camera can see it. We're gonna put our thinlet on there. Make sure cutting side down so there's a little rim. So we're gonna boot that down so that way it can cut. We're gonna make a white jar. I'm gonna try and do this backwards. So you roll it through, and then I go back, I go backwards again to make sure that it really cuts. When you pop it out, put the big shot back to the side. There you go. You have a perfect little jar so actually shows up really well on the white count or on the black counters so i'll leave that there put this back to the side and get my paper back okay so well theoretically i'm going to take this back ha ah, there we go okay so we can I jumped ahead of myself. I was supposed to stamp the image on the back first, but it's okay. The great thing about the photopolymer stamps is you can line it up exactly. And worst comes to worse, I'll just redo this whole thing again. And you're gonna see the big shot twice. But I think we can make it happen. Looky there. So now it looks like we have an actual jar. Super cute. Love it. I used my dapper denim. This is one of our new in colors. And then I'm going to also use emerald envy, which is another one of our new in colors. And I lost the. I'll just use this guy. And I'm going to use the sentiment hello. Because who doesn't love getting a hello card? Again, the jars are one of our new, it's one of our new stamp sets. I really feel like this is a must have for anybody. And we'll put it a little bit on the side because. You're from the south, you always know that everything's a little bit on the side. Okay. Now, we're gonna adhere it to the card like this. So, what you see a lot of people do is you see a lot of people add dimensions to their cards. So what Stampin' Up! has is these things called dimensionals. They come in packs, 300. And then I also chop mine in half. Um, the reason I do this is because sometimes I've noticed when I leave them whole, they just kind of go all over the place and they go a little bit wonky on me. So cutting in them in half or smaller things like this really works well and it saves me a couple of my dimensionals. So we're going to attach it and then I'm going to have to flip it so I can see. And we're going to attach it to the card just like that. So that's my finished card. It's really simple. You can see I have my three layers, one, the Knight of Navy, two, and then my mason jar. We have some pretty embellishments using the embossing powder. And then we have some actual dimension because this has some lift to it. We could add other things, but I really like the simplicity of this card. So I think I wanna leave it just like that. It reminds me of some summer nights. 
can also add a sentiment on the inside of the card and always make sure to sign the back of your card. So that way people know that you made it and made it out of love. So I hope you enjoy this card. I hope that this helps, makes a little bit sense of how we put cards together. If you have any questions, please comment below and make sure to visit my website, www.stampin, or so, we'll try that again. Visit my website, www.simplysaid.stampinup.net. Thanks guys.